Okay, so great news. Our website is basically finished. It looks great and it's ready for launch. And my advice is don't be scared to launch before you think you might be ready or the website is perfect because it's more important to start to get something out there and start making sales and interacting with the public than it is to have your website absolutely perfect and have not a single issue or flaw or anything. Uh, until you start making sales, you don't really have a business. So I would recommend launching as quickly as you can and then continuing to iteratively improve your website and your business as you go. That's how things work. So first we need to assign a premium plan and then we need to assign a domain name to our website. So in the dashboard, we could go to here, compare plans, or settings, compare plans, and you can look through different the different plans. I've talked about the different plans earlier in the course. So you, you'll probably be fine with a combo plan, or if you're going to be doing e-commerce like this site, then you'll need a business unlimited plan. So I actually have plans through Wix because I'm a Wix legend partner. So I'm going to go assign my plan and we'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've assigned a business unlimited plan to my website. And now it will come to this screen, and it says, congratulations, your site is premium, get the best domain for free. Because I have a free domain voucher, I actually have a bunch of these because we have so many plans through Wix. You might have a free plan, you might not. I'm going to get my domain through Wix, and if you do it like that, it's super easy. Let me show you all you have to do. All you have to do is put in your domain, and we'll do something like nomadic-caleb.com, just because I think that's going to be available. And it's easier to read if there's a dash between these two Cs. So let's grab that, and we'll do it for a year. Don't look at that. And we'll keep the public registration because it's cheaper. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your purchase. Nomadic-Caleb is now assigned to Nomadic-Caleb. So our site's live. We have a premium plan assigned to it. We can now accept payments. There's also this little notice asking me if I want a personalized mailbox. I don't because this isn't a real site, but I would recommend you getting a mailbox. It makes you look much more professional if your email address is at your website instead of at gmail.com. As somebody who deals with small business owners all day, every day, having your email address be at gmail.com is 100% a dead giveaway that you're probably new to the business, you don't really know what you're doing, and you're probably not making much money either. And for me, um, I can't work with people who don't have money to pay for my services. It, should, it just does not make you look good. I would recommend getting a professional email address. Okay, so here's our domain. Now, but what if you have your domain on somewhere else, like GoDaddy? Let me show you how to add a third-party domain from a service like GoDaddy in about two minutes. So under your domains, so if you go to Settings and then Domains, you can click Manage Domain. At the top it says Add an Existing Domain. Click there and then click connect the domain you already own. This could be from GoDaddy or Namecheap or Bluehost or wherever the heck you bought your domain. So we're going to connect this domain name from GoDaddy to our Wix website. Now there's two different connection methods. There's pointing and name servers. Name servers is a more foundational change, um, but pointing, you just change a couple settings and it won't interfere with any of your email inbox settings, whereas changing your name servers will interfere with your email inbox settings if your email inbox is set up on GoDaddy. So if we assume that you bought an email inbox already when you bought a domain name on GoDaddy, then we use pointing. If your email servers are going to be running off of Wix, then you can use the name servers connection method. So I'm going to assume that you bought an inbox from GoDaddy when you bought your domain, and we'll use pointing. Okay, so we have Roofing San Marcos as our domain name, and we're going to click Next. It recognizes that our domain name is from GoDaddy. Yes, it's from GoDaddy. And then it gives us these super easy instructions. And so all we have to do is change two records, our A record and our C name record. We jump over to GoDaddy. I've already brought up that domain name, Roofing San Marcos, and we can manage the DNS here. And then all we have to do is change this A name record and the C name record. So we can copy and paste the A record right here in the value box. Right, points to here. That's all we're going to change. And then the TTL. We're going to set that to 600 seconds. Okay. TTL stands for time to live. And it basically is a timer on the information 
after which this information will be resent to browsers and your website will be accessible at these values. So let's grab the CNAME, points to that CNAME record. We'll change the TTL to 600 seconds. Okay, that's all we have to do. And then we're going to click verify our connection. Okay, now they say we're going to check your domain connection. It's going to take up to 48 hours to check the details. Because we set our TTL to 600 seconds, it won't take more than 10 minutes. But we'll track our domain name status anyway. And here we go. Nomadic Caleb is the primary domain. CalebJoes.blog redirects to nomadiccaleb.com. And we have roofingsanmarcos.com as an example. That's also going to, going to redirect to nomadiccaleb.com. And let's check if Nomadic Caleb is now live. Sweet. It is. The site is live. Anybody in the world can go to nomadiccaleb.com and see this website. It's pretty awesome, right? So boom, our site has been launched. If you build your website and you're at this point, now is the time to send out the link to all your friends and family, post it on social media, talk about it, start driving traffic, create forum posts, write blogs. Now is the time to go 210 miles per hour and really push your website as a foundational piece of your business. So congratulations, your website is live.